Today's Ask Reddit post. What sounds offensive but actually isn't. Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. I still cannot believe there is a burger restaurant called Fudrikas. Ruddikas. Paul Ruddikas. I wish. There's this faux restaurant in Davis. CA named Foking. Chigger. Sounds like two racial slurs but it's just a bug. Just a bug. Those little shits are plenty offensive. I don't have very many allergies. But apparently chiggers make up for the lack of the rest. I've literally woken up to blood soaked sheets from scratching in my sleep after getting into them. Like 30 40 of the little bastards from ankles to knees. All welted up to dime sized nodules of purage. I just won't go into a pasture or field without a dousing of deed. I used to survey for a living. Each summer we'd get a few short timers. Mostly college kids who were still in town. Everyone in the field looked terrible all the time but were dressed appropriately for their assignment. These guys would be in jogging shoes with ankle socks. Cocky shorts all baggy. Tank tops and shirts to roll out into waist high grass or thick bras. They were mostly too cool for DEET and permethrin for a week or so. At least one every year got a terrible mess of red bug bites. Usually between ankles and knees. The kids wouldn't treat it but were totally unprepared for how intense chiggers are. Either sleeping or absent mindedly they would claw till they had cellulitis. It only takes once to understand the need for the chemicals and long pants in summer. Edit. Spelling. Grew up in the deep south and can confirm that chiggers will make one think that it's a good idea to swim in a pool of deet before going into the woods. The only bug that comes close is the sandfly. I ran into these in Venezuela many years ago. Called Jejeans over there. And regretted it. The name dick. Rapeseed oil. Funny add-on. A few years back a small town figured they should change their town motto. They had been in the canola and honey game since way back. Their motto. The land of rape and honey. What did they change it to? Opportunity grows here. Funnily enough could also be Epstein's motto. Masticated. I love masticating. I do it many times a day. I swallow afterwards. Only cowards don't. I masticate with my family. Black has sometimes been a touchy word. Most notably from a political standpoint. But using African American as a stand-in for black doesn't always work. A dark-skinned Hispanic person, for example, may identify as black, race, and ethnically Hispanic without considering themselves African. There are also white people in Africa. South Africa comes to mind. As well as Moroccans, Egyptians, and other countries that are sometimes pushed into Middle Eastern due to religious beliefs. Deleted. I'm wet. From a glider pilot. Almost exclusively older white men. It means they're flying with ballast. But almost all of them choose to say I'm wet rather than I have water or ballast. I snicker. Every. Damn time. Conversely, if they are not flying with water, they'll say they're dry. With that in mind, this is my favorite call I've heard someone make. Papa Charlie, I'm dry and ready. Billy, have you ever seen a grown man naked? Do you like movies about gladiators? Have you ever been in a Turkish prison? Noticing other people's race. I find it personally okay for you notice I'm not white and pointing it out. However if you do this in a condescending way that is when it turns racist. This is something I really struggle with. As in what is acceptable in society. As someone who has never been or even understood racists. I'm often overthinking whether I can say it was that black lady when trying to talk about someone I don't know the name of. Like I would quite easily say the fat white guy. I just feel these days even if you're not racist you have to really watch your choice of words for fear of being called out by someone who overreacts. Point is when mentioning someone by appearance you tend to choose the most obvious thing. Height. Weight. Color. Accent. Unusually features i.e. big nose. Big head. The word niggardly. It means not generous or stingy. Intelligence is being able to understand that the word isn't as bad as it sounds. Wisdom is knowing that it shouldn't be used anyway. I really liked this. You're wrong. The amount of people who get upset if you tell them they're wrong about something is ridiculous. 
People act like you have offended them somehow, but you didn't make the facts. Obviously I realize there are polite ways to point out to someone they're wrong, and rude ways to do so. People act like you're rude just for contradicting them though. The amount of people who get upset if you tell them they're wrong about something is ridiculous. Like being wrong about how to spell ridiculous. Sorry couldn't help myself. Debiculous. A word that describes itself. Virgin. Ain't nothing wrong with saving yourself or simply choosing not to have sex. Well my friend. I don't have much of a choice. You're on Reddit. Of course you don't have a choice. My first thought was more of a dark one tbh. Saying that someone is ignorant. It just means they don't understand the subject. There's nothing wrong with not understanding something. The problem arises when ignorant people think they're experts. See. Dunning-Kruger. OMFG. My boyfriend and I recently broke up. And this was one of his complaints. We got into a big argument because he was trying to whitewash something that happened to me. And I said, I'm sorry, but this is something you're ignorant about. He blew the duck up. That was months ago and he still brings it up as if I grievously insulted him. I tried pointing out that I would be very comfortable saying this is a subject I'm ignorant about. But he believes it is one of the worst ways you could possibly insult someone. Ignorance is fixable. Stupidity is not. To me, it has now wrapped back around to the point where I see people get upset about being called ignorant and I immediately think, oh, your ego is so fragile, you can't imagine a world where you don't know something. Embracing ignorance is often a sign of intellectual maturity. Kumquat. Best fruit to this day on God. Kant, Emmanuel, is that you? Renig, 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 V. To go back on, retract, a previous statement or submission. I've only ever heard it pronounced Reneg, rhyming with egg, as a Brit. I'm kinda confused by this. We say it more like Ren Ayg, probably due to the French looking spelling. Although Welsh almost certainly has its origin in disparaging people from Wales. Jew. This one is really rough cause it's both bad taste and bad grammar to call someone a the ex instead of the ex person for pretty much any minority marginalized identity. Spigot. Yo I'm just trying to my Minecraft server. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like. And I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. It's kind of crazy how sweet Bilbo was considering he had been carrying the ring for several decades at that point. Oh. Absolutely. I choke up a bit when he asks about the ring at the very end. Black, brown, queer, gay, trans, fat, Jewish, Muslim, immigrant, feminist, autistic, deaf. A lot of identifying terms like these people seem to think of as impolite or even offensive to use. But noticing knowing someone's identities isn't bad and may be validating and helpful. Depending on the person and the context, it's always best to follow a person's lead and see what words they use to identify themselves. I'm autistic. I've literally heard people say that I'm not allowed to call myself that. It's a person with autism. Every time I use autistic on reddit someone tries to educate me about person first language. Doesn't matter that I'm autistic and the vast majority of autistics prefer identity first language. You don't see or hear people bristling at the similar use of lesbian so why is it so hard to understand? I guess they think I should feel ashamed of being autistic. Or that somehow being autistic might imply that I'm somehow not a person. I know it's mostly people trying to be empathetic and helpful. But it doesn't add up if you think about it. My cousin called my partner and his family boat people. I was mortified until I learned that Vietnamese refugees in the 70s and 80s were actually called boat people. I've got a friend whose family moved here when he was about 3 years old. He refers to his family as FOTB. Fresh off the boat. All the time. Not quite the same. It's one thing if immigrants call themselves that. But I still think it is offensive in general. Boat people were the Vietnamese who escaped by boat in the 70s and 80s. Much like what is happening now with the Syrian refugees. The Vietnamese were the original boat people. Wasn't Noah and his family the original boat people? They would be ark people. 
Mental illness. When someone talk about mental illness, people always think about psychopath or something like that. Like, no, mental illness isn't an offensive word. It's turning into an insult. Retard used to be strictly a professional term but now it's mostly used as an insult. Redditor. It's a euphemism for virgin now. Is it still considered a euphemism if it's true? Yes. Muslim. Surprisingly a lot of non-Muslims think we get offended if they point out notice that we're Muslim. The way I dress gives it away. I'm not hiding it. Comma the way I dress gives it away. Is it a t-shirt that says I'm with Muslim and an arrow pointing up? I bet it's a t-shirt that says I'm with Muslim and an arrow pointing up. Fuck you cunt. As long as you are in Australia. Or, thank you. Friend. 3. No ducking worries mate. Sight for sore eyes. Perhaps it's anecdotal. As my only point of reference for it being used incorrectly is my family. My family always used it as an insult. Later on when I thought about it, it's actually a compliment. Sore eyes would benefit from something nice to look at. I've only ever heard it as a compliment. And now I'm curious. Can you provide some context for its misuse? Sure. My nana would say it in reference to someone's appearance and would mean it as an insult. Thanks. That's pretty peculiar. Oh she is peculiar woman. Plenty of love of me and family and yet plenty of hate for everybody else. No problem. As a response to thank you. I still don't understand why people take offense to that. Wait people are offended by that? I always say no problem. I didn't know there are people that find something wrong with it lol. It's mainly older folks that take passive aggressive offense to it. Yeah it's definitely generational. While offended may not most accurately describe it. Saying you're welcome to people around your own age. Assuming you're not in the older generations. Can be a bit clunky and awkward. Spigot always sounds like a slur to me. Especially if you say it like you're angry. I thought you were assassinated and plunged the world into World War 1. I have a friend who lives in a part of Canada where French speakers are common. There's a swear in French, Sacamain, which is one of those religion based swears. Like to Bernac but not quite as strong. She likes to shout Sacamain when she's frustrated, which is handbag or purse in French. Gets her a lot of raised eyebrows, which of course is her aim. P.S. I apologize to any French speakers I've offended with lack of accent marks. I'm just too lazy to figure out how to make my keyboard do them. Son of a biscuit is my English personal favorite. People always look at me shocked for a second and then laugh. I really have started saying that when I hurt myself though. Because my dad legit yells son of a bitch when he gets hurt so I was trying to curb the habit I had learned. The Spanish word for black. Dude is a ducking pescatarian. I knew a girl in high school who insisted that fish was a vegetable because she started a vegetarian diet and didn't want to admit she was pescatarian. That's on par with the catholic church declaring beavers are fish. Outside of the obvious joke. Do people eat beaver? What's your salary? You should know your co-workers salaries. I've seen my salary. I'm plenty offended by it. Trader Joe's labeling their products as Trader insert common ethnic name here. I did a double take when I first saw Trader Joe's matzah ball soup it's mad good though. Bro is this really on their packaging? Lol. I guess Trader Jose isn't that far off from Trader Joe though. Jose is at least a direct translation of the name Joseph into Spanish. The other one is deeply questionable and should probably be Trader Joseph or something. At my work we call forms that have been checked and ready to scan clean skins. IDK always sounded racist to me. It would sound racist to me too if I were a ghoul. Wear a mask. There's a town in Wales called Creef. Always thought it seemed it like should be a rude word but isn't. Same with Clithero. Cockamouth and Finjeringho. Edit. I have been reliably informed in my inbox that even the locals of Cockermouth call it Nabingob. I suppose you have to make your own fun up in Cumbria. Ah. 
Good ol' clit hero. I spent a lot of my teenage years there. Can confirm it just gets abbreviated to clit by the locals. Facts. Men are generally stronger than women. Insults always seem to think feminists are insulted by this statement and it's just like. No. Everyone knows just scientifically that most men are stronger than most women and nobody's but that over it. Each sex tends to different types of strengths obviously. The problem is when they add on that stronger is better. Therefore men. Women. People call me racist for saying the word black or when everyone's scared to say someone's black or white. I got called a racist once for describing someone as black on reddit. I had maybe 5 comments all telling me that the correct term is African American. I'm in England talking about another English person. I'm not going to call an English person American and I'm certainly not going to describe a black person that I do not know as African. You gronking sminkladolf. I hope you brondle your fro up until you've leech. Anything can sound offensive. Even if it's complete and utter nonsense. That was a frumier statement. A lot of people get offended by the word ignorant. Apparently they are ignorant to the definition. I've seen a lot of people calling people ignorant when they disagree with the position that another person is taking. So they don't have to go through the effort of defending their position. This is a cop out. Calling someone out for pulling bullshit out of the air when you know full well they don't know what they're talking about is deserved in a public service. So context matters here. Karen. The only people who ever really get offended by being called a Karen are those that fit the stereotype. Mayo. I just feel bad for people who were named Karen. I wonder if we were to look back in a few years if we could see a decline in parents naming their girls Karen. Saying a person touched me with their message. You touched me with your comment. That outfit dress doesn't look good. This isn't an insult. You can always change the outfit and it's better to know if it's not your style before you buy it. My go-to is to say it's not flattering. That way they still feel good and no I mean the outfit doesn't highlight their best features. Moist. Yes. You have a big ass. That's a compliment in my book. The word ignorant. There should be nothing wrong or offensive with pointing out to somebody that they are ignorant on a particular topic. We are all ignorant on most subjects. Some on more subjects than others. Sure. But ignorant undoubtedly has a negative connotation. Have you ever wanted to be a ghost? Saying no or refusing something without giving excuse. Like. No I don't want to have visit today so even if you'll ring my doorbell and you saw my car I will not open the door. No I don't want to go to a party tonight. No I have nothing going on. I just don't want. No I don't want ice cream. No I will not kiss that man on the cheeks too time to say bonjour. He either shake my hand or nothing. I don't care that doing lab eyes is a normal girl thing. Why do we even try to justify yourself? A no should be enough. Bro, you actually watched the whole video, I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.